this begins. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mage. And this is Maya. And we are going to be bringing you the eighth match of the Free For All Masters League. Um, in this one, we have Fail Life, Ashalar, J33, and subbing in for Yaws, Mattias G. Um, we've got Mattias G in the top left with Undead. He is a relatively new player to the Free For All Masters League, brought over from the Play Free For All bot. Uh, he is currently participating in the Free For All Farm League, and we'll see how his skills hold up in the regular one. And in the top right, we have Ashlar, who's normally Orc, but has been playing Undead recently to pretty good success. Uh, he unfortunately had uh, a rough go in his first uh, FML match, but he did win his Farm League match before he got promoted. So he's played here before. We know he's certainly got the talent to keep up. In the bottom right, we have Life, who alternates between being a very brilliant player and somebody who kind of loses track of what's going on at times. Um, he certainly has the capability to win this match, and with his solo background, I'd say he's actually a very good favorite to do it. I like the Ancient of War opening we have here, most likely to creep the uh, fountain. And then our last player, J33, is actually last year's reigning champ. He is a more passively styled Night Elf player, but his micro is only getting better in free-for-all, and he's certainly going to be a force to be reckoned with in this game, and probably my odds-on favorite to win at the moment. Well, yeah, since he's a reigning champion, it's obvious that he might be the favorite, but this map is very action-oriented, and there is no much options for hoarding. So we'll see how he does in such a map. And it's not really an elf-friendly uh, map as well. Um, yep, that's certainly true. I think his biggest threat was probably Yaws, though, who honestly could have 3v1'd everybody if he wanted to. So I think Jay's J33 is on a bit better footing than he was if Yaws had showed up. Um, I know Ashlar and Life both have extensive solo backgrounds, but we do also have the advantage for J33 that he spawned on the same side as Mattias, who is much more traditional solo than uh, Life and Ashlar are. That is true. Um, it's not the way I would normally go, but it's certainly a possibility. Uh, just as a heads up, though, I'm not sure if you're scooting your mic around a little bit or what, but you've got a little scratching noise in the background when you talk. Yeah. So just as heads up there. Um, we do have Life here with his early Ancient of War opening on the mine, and the Ashlar is going for the Necropolis proxy out there. Uh, nice move on his part there. I think that will help out quite a bit. But with the gold he went towards that, it'll be interesting to see how easily he's able to creep that, and if he's going to go for ghouls to creep it, I presume, or later fiends. Actually, his opening is interesting. Uh, the necropolis is a very quick one. Uh, he has only four ghouls, from what I see. He's making a fifth one. Yeah, I'm curious if... Do you think he, I was going to ask, do you think he practiced this opening on the map? Um, since I would not have guessed off the top of my head that you could do it with just your Rod of Necromancy and a single ghoul, but it seems like he's managed to pull this off fairly well. Actually, the ghoul's opening on this map is uh, fairly good because um, the expansion creeps are weak, as you can see. Mm -hmm. We can. And he does have the uh, illusions going up at the moment. He must have. Okay, never mind. But those should be easy to tank some of the fountain creeps. Just for a note, J33 off to a huge start with all these skeletons. Um, DR is certainly a very important choice on this map, and we do have Mattias coming in here and possibly creep jacking Ashlar. We'll see how that goes. Uh, it does not look like Mattias will creep jack him, and Ashlar rethinking this idea of creeping that camp at the moment. Well, this is generous, though. He is indeed. This is certainly not a map that you normally would let other people take the creeps, since they're very limited as is. That's surprising. In my opinion, he should have, because Ashlar just retreated, and uh, the way he's creeping the fountain right now, he, yeah, he's, he 
must go and I don't think he's, he's going to be able to Yep. This could have been worse. He could have lost more than one ghoul, but certainly a disappointment. He is only level 1 at the moment, whereas everybody else is at least level 2, or in the case of J33, already level 3. And he did pick up a stone token, which I think is going to be a very important uh, creature if they get into an early fight. I mean, you get around 80, and it kind of gives Night Elf a stun, which desperately needs normally. Be interesting to see if J33 is going to go ahead and creep Jack Mattias at the moment. They are not in a good. Po Mattias is not in a good position, um, and Life about to lose that Demon Hunter to the creeps. Oof. And that was clutch. He almost survived. Yeah, I was going to say, creeps pulling off a good one on that one. Um, but Life is the first one to get his mine fully up and running, although. We do have Ashlar manage to get up his Haunted Gold Mine, as did Mattias, but they're not fully fi filled yet. So, J33 running a little bit behind at the moment, but that is clearly made up for by the fact that he has two Trees of Life going up, at, so he will have a gold advantage very quickly. And Mattias continuing to let Ashlar creep that in peace, it looks like, although... up oh, there we go. Mattias saying, okay, I'll go ahead and take the rest of this. I'm good with that. And J33 has picked up a Panda as his second hero. As I say, and J33 is almost certainly going to grab the red creep as well as this orange one over here. Uh, so I think he's in very good shape at the moment. We do have a panda picked up second for life, but life just at 2-1 at the moment. He is going for a double Ancient of Lore right now, though, and probably going to try and go for a bear dryad push, which could be effective against Ashlar if he catches him with his pants down, or J33, although I think that's a little bit of a longer trek to get there. Yeah, it definitely could. I mean, he is only has a single Ancient of Wind, and he's clearly going for pure Chippo um, as quickly as possible. So he is definitely very vulnerable at the moment, but I don't believe that Life has scouted him yet, uh, at least not recently. So he has no idea of knowing that, unless he's just assuming that J33 will go for it, which probably a reasonable assumption, all things considered. Uh, he does pick up 3-2 on his Demon Hunter and gets a Red Drake, which... Honestly, if he did want to push J33, that would be tremendously helpful. I agree. Um, see, uh, actually, since Matthias and Ashwell are uh, so peaceful to each other, I guess we can see who fell alive to the attack. Because if he doesn't attack uh, Ashwell, for instance, uh, we can see how Ashwell might have a. Uh, it does look like J33 and Mattias might fight, or Mattias may just be scouting at the moment. Uh, so here's a question for you. Would you rather have the inside expansion or the outside expansion in the middle here? Uh, we saw that J33 went for the outside expansion, but Life went for the inside. Wow, Matty is going to back off here from the creep. Going to pick up his Book of the Dead, but it doesn't look like he's going to try and get the other creeps. So apparently they're a little too much for him. And it does look like life may be going towards Ashlar at the moment. Full 
Yeah, I think he just wanted to regroup because his Death Knight was taking too much damage at the time. Um, does look like he is going to go back in there, so probably good. Surprised that J33 has not yet gone for his red camp there, and it looks like, in fact, J33 going to go ahead and try and steal some creeps here. Uh, he's got that invisible panda going in, and we've got fail life coming in as well, so this could be very interesting. Uh, doesn't look like J33 is going to be able to get one of the creeps, but he will be able to get one of the fiends. Yep. And interesting. Uh oh, this could be bad for J33's panda. <laughs> Although there's no stun. And good steal by Ashlar there on the creep as well. Should be able to get that dryad down. And now he just has bears, which obviously not going to be able to attack. But Ashlar does back up there. So just going around the map, we do have uh, only 100 wood for J33. But he does have 3,600 gold. Medius with 1,100 and 100. Ashlar pumping, going to 80 with his full army right now. Uh, at 300, 150. And Life is actually still at 50 and at 3,300, 100. So Life and J33 doing a nice job of leading the economy. And really kind of the opposite of what I thought I saw here with Ashlar being the one to go aggressive first and Life actually staying at 50. Oh, so I guess he is going to go ahead and go up then. Unless he's just going to build some more towers. Yep, and Ashlar is not food capped at 60, to put it nicely. <laughs> yeah, he uh, has a appropriate army to fight. So, he's not even really mean worse. Okay, he's 79, but still not building any mean worse. Not, not also, uh, he's also not going with um, about 50. I was going to say, I'm sure once he sees Ashlar start to attack his uh, expansion, he's going to. But Life only has 30 wood, so that could be a major problem for him. And J33 going to deny Mattias' expansion here, so it does look like... Uh, maybe he's not, but it looks like you are correct in your guess about the fighting ways. And Mattias going up to at least 62, probably going to go up to 80. Not sure where all his gold went. He had a decent bit a moment ago. I guess he's got a few things queued up here, but he is desperately broke at the moment. Um, J33 is able to go up to 80, but could use some more moon walls for sure, and his production building should allow him to quickly pump up if need be, but if Mattias hits him now, this could be a very bad time for J33. Ashlar going to go ahead and push on the less well-protected expansion here, and going to hit these uh, wisps, which were getting uh, the wood life needed, so I suspect his economy could be pretty sunk soon. Yep, look at J33. He's going to manage to steal this. And what a beautiful steal on behalf of J33. Nice staff of teleportation to get out. If only he managed to get that bear, it would have been perfect. But huge creep steal there. Yeah, I think Ashlar is in a little better shape than Mattias is at the moment. Um, Life continuing to lose all of his wood wisps, but 
Mattis is pushing on J33. I believe J33 is going to be able to repel him relatively easily. There goes that Keeper of the Grove, as we were talking about earlier. Easy pickings. Um, and doesn't look like J33 has nearly enough Hippogriffs at the moment. He's having the issues with it, the Hippogriffs being webbed instead of his Chimeras. Obviously, you'd rather the Chimeras get webbed here so that you can fight it. Does pop off that Rock Golem that should be able to change the fight. Manual casting it. Yep. Not very helpful. <laughs> Rock Golem not doing anything. Um, just as a heads up, apparently people are having a little bit of trouble hearing you, so I don't know if you can move your mic closer. Okay. Yeah, oh, perfect. That sounds good. Here we go, on the other side of the map, we do have Ashlar and Life engaging. Life has managed to pretty well come back here. He's got an excellent army to counter Ashlar at the moment, it looks like. Uh, although, only 1-1 one, one upgrades on the Hippogriffs, and we've got 3-2 on the Gargoyle. So, advantage to Ashlar on that one. Um, Roar should be able to make up some of that difference there, and it should come down to a question of how well they can micro, I believe. Lich level 3, obviously, big factor, as is the Panda 3. Don't have a third hero yet for Life, at least not that I've seen. Yeah, I get the theory behind that, but at least from my level of play, I guess he does have Dryads, which help to take down the heroes a little bit, but I love having that Keeper of the Grove in order to be able to pin down one of the undead heroes, since it's so hard to do normally. Um, I really like his use of the Snarecaster so far. Slow has played quite a big role so far for uh, Fail Life in allowing him to pick off individual Gargoyles, and presumably if he wants to focus a hero, he'll be able to do that too. Mattius was able to repel J33 there. Uh, as you mentioned earlier about the third hero, his Keeper of the Grove, very low still. Um, only 24 experience on it and 500 HP, so it is quite the sitting target. I'm really surprised that J33... Oh, it does look like J33 is going to go for a full 100, actually. Uh, if you're Elf, I don't see any reason not to, and Mattius is food locked, although I suspect that J33 can't know that. But if he goes a full 100 now, it should be a pretty easy takedown for him. <laughs> and J33 is going to get his TP in here. Uh, doesn't really help him out very much. I uh, guess it didn't hurt Mattias too badly there. Could have been worse. Yeah. Uh, both Life and J33 not doing very well on their upgrades. J33 is putting up his Moonwell, so he will be able to go to 100, and I guess is upgrading his attack and def armor as we speak, but he's a little bit behind in that regard, although it's probably not hurting him too terribly because Mattias is only at 2-1. Um, Ashlar, the only one to have a single level 3, and he's got level 2 on his armor, so he's winning in that regard of just teching. However, he is well behind gold uh, for J33, 
Doesn't seem like much on this map, but a thousand is quite a big difference. Nice job by J33 to pull his wisps off of his mine, um, since he can use the wood quite a bit, and he is going to lose a lot of gold upkeep here. Of course, we are having two good battles at the same time. Does look like Fail Life and Ashlar are going to be the ones that are done first. Pretty even match there, just bumping back over. Looks like we've got a little bit of hit and run on the other side, so we're going to stick with Ashlar and Life for now. Do have that red drake out there for life. Life is down to 54 though. Ashlar at 71, but trying to kite him back a little bit. This could be very bad news for life if he does something like loses a hero since he doesn't have an expansion. It's very low on wood. And this demon hunter does not have a TP on it. Down goes that demon hunter. I was going to say, yeah, that was a very bad loss for him. Looks like the Keep of the Grove has gone down on the other side of the map here. Uh, J33 at 82 food, so honestly he could stand to lose 2 food right now. Does lose it, and he will be able to... Oh, he's going back to 100 actually. Um, and we're going to almost lose that Panda as well. So something I noticed that's kind of curious is Life has a TP on the Panda, but a Staff on the Demon Hunter, which kind of the wrong combination. You want to be able to staff something out and then TP after it, not either TP your hero away that is has a TP and then lose all your units. Yeah, yeah that's very true. And Maddie's putting the pressure back on here. Well played on his part. Um, he is at 77, so he's going to be at a bit of a food disadvantage. However, he has his second expansion going back up, has denied J33's expansion. Uh, given enough time, he will be in very good position. Yep, that is uh, the nature of this map. Well, the last match we had uh, J, uh, J as tears and uh, also had like 13k. Uh, but, uh, Ooh, bad lose on this Treadlord. Why didn't the demon hunter teleport? Treadlord? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, must have been just outside the range, but that's a bit of a costly mistake there. And finally, that Keeper of the Grove comes in handy, not just dying. I don't think it was it, because to me it felt like he was in the middle even of the army. I mean, I wasn't paying really much attention. I was going to say, neither was I. I didn't really expect something like that to happen. Uh, that could be an interesting point for J33 to continue to push here. I do like the fact that J33 is not backing off. He continues to go up to 100. He's not worried about... Uh, getting low on gold, and instead he's going to gain some good hero levels here, probably. <laughs> oh wow, sorry, I missed the beginning of this fight, but we do have Ashlar and Life fighting here. Lost the panda, big deal. That is certainly not going to be good for Life. Uh, very hard to combat a gargoyle army without your panda. And there we go, Life... Makes sense. So if J33 pushes Mattias, then we're going to have a very interesting 1v1, but most likely he'll probably let him live so that they can team him out. Or, nope, J33 can continue to push Mattias, so Ashlar could be in great position. Whoa, no, no, he just said okay. Well, he did kill the expo right after that, though. <laughs> he should, he should just finish. I mean, uh, that's just some free experience that is lying over there in the top left corner. Yeah, I... J33 should push him, I think. Maybe drop down to 80 and do it that way, but... Yeah, otherwise Ashler just kills him, I believe. He just scouts it. He has no expansion. Yeah, Ashlar will be... Ashlar is going to have three expansions soon in addition to his natural, which still has some gold in it. And I believe the hero levels are pretty easily going to him at the moment. Yep, 544, four, which is a decent bit better than either of our other players. I'm surprised that J33 still s- oh, okay, he just went into 80. Um, I don't like this move from Matthias, he's going for Ashlar. Uh, that might just seal the deal for him. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the knee-jerk reaction, is the moment somebody takes somebody else out, they get hit by the players who feel that Oh, well, that person must be super strong. Um, Ashlar probably is the strongest at this point, but... He... Yeah, so Maddie is just pretty much going ahead and feeding him at this point. Some reason Red Lord survived. 
<laughs> nope. Just gonna kill the lich first. Although if J33 goes ahead and hits Ashlar now, then that may keep him busy. I mean, Mattias should go ahead and kill off stuff to get down to 50 right now. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have an expansion. The only one that he's got going up is J33 has a tree of life there. Hmm. I think I'm lagging. That's probably not good. Ah, uh, yep. That may not be good. I was to say, if they, they need to drop me, they need to. Yeah, I can hear you, but apparently you can't hear me. Yep, maybe. I'm going to try and not scroll around too much and see if I can survive this. J33 doing a nice job of keeping the hippogriffs behind his chimeras there. Uh, looks like I just lost Magadansky. Mag, are you there? Hey, Mag, are you there? Yeah, you were lagging in the game. Yep. Okay. Uh, so somehow I'm still in the game. It looks like I'm no longer lagging. And J33 bringing a little heat to that Lich, but did manage to get his Hippogriff pulled right into Lich's field again, and Ashlar is going to decimate some of these, it looks like. Lich is just barely alive. I was going to say, if he managed to get that Lich down, that would have been a bit of a changer. Uh, J33 is still not mining off his natural, though, which at this point I think it's kind of... He really needs to start getting some more gold, because he is very low. Yep. It's always the guy that uh, finish his stone quicker. It's a team that did at least initially. And he had a perfect opportunity to just finish him. And I think actually he may be going. Nope. I think he's checking his, for his expansions first and then he will go. Uh, although it's gonna, he's going to be intercepted by J33 and neither player prepared for this obviously. But Ashlar is going to try and take the fight to J33 but going to back off at the end. Hopefully he is going to go ahead and try and just hit Mattias, because... One thing to also mention is that J33 has only one scroll of health. Um, so every Nova, both Nova actually hurts him a lot. Uh, while Ashlar has scrolls in heroes that he gives him a huge edge in, uh, in all the aerial battles and it seems like he's going now to Matthias. I was going to say Ashlar can't really seem to make up his mind yeah he's I think he's going J33 it does look like that um, and J33 has sneakily put up another expansion where life's natural is so that may go under the radar uh, and if it does then that's going to be a huge asset for J33 Hopefully he's going for 100. Yeah, uh, he should realize that uh, the heroes of Ashland are pretty tough to handle with just level 1 keeper. And if you're Night Elf, there's never very much reason to be 80 in the first place. I mean, 50 to 100 and jumping in between is kind of your best move since Night Elf does need a large army to be effective. Unless you're playing ground and then you have much more skill than I do. Yeah. Could be worse. Yeah. With four chimeras moving, it makes a difference. Oh, he's going to get intercepted. Yeah, he's going to lose a chimera here. Maybe two. 
Although in the long run, this may end up helping him out a little bit because they did waste the nuke on the Chimeras, and now Silence has gone off on Ashlar's heroes, so J33 may be able to deal a little bit of damage here, although Silence about to wear off, I think, and that's going to be bad news for those Hippogriffs when it does. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hippogriffs do go into stone form, and that nuke really just doing a lot of damage to J33's Hippogriffs. Fortunately, he's going to be able to get to the fountain to go ahead and heal him up now. Um, and Mattias going ahead and attacking Ashlar at 50. Uh, he does have much more gold than either of the other two players. I think this may be a little bold and draw too much attention to him, but at least he's staying at 50 and mining. Yeah. I mean, that, that just draws huge attention, like a red mark right there. Um, I think he might lose his literal dreadlord. I'm curious why he's not TPing already. There we go. Does get the TP off, and probably not going to lose a hero. We'll lose that fiend. Yeah, although Ashlar getting very low on gold, um, and he might lose some units that he can't afford to lose to to Matthias at the moment. I do think that's what he needs to do. He just really needs to take out the expansions at least. I mean, we do have Matthias running off of two expansions on 50. He's going to get gold very quickly, and even if you can't keep up with the other players skill-wise, if you have enough gold, then that's a game-changer. Yeah, if you are the strongest, I agree with you. Yeah, Ashlar doesn't seem to take a clear decision. He seems like he doesn't have even a plan, in my opinion. Uh, Matthias is going up to 80, it looks like. I'm not really sure why, and with this army composition, I mean, that's just going to feed him even more. And J33 going ahead and putting pressure on Ashlar. I think J33 is certainly playing this exactly as he should be. Uh, he knows that he's got Matthias on his team, and he really doesn't want Matthias to get knocked out of the game. At least not yet. Uh, if he can get down to the 1v1 with Matthias, I'm sure he's confident he can win that. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Uh, he, because he knows that Matthias is, is being basically dead in, uh, when, uh, when uh, life left, so he knows that he has better levels, better army composition, has two expansions winning. As I said, J33 certainly wants to extend this as long as possible. Uh, he did finally mine out his main, but he's in great position gold-wise compared to both the other players. Uh, Mattias does have the same amount of gold, however, he's got significantly less army, and that's going to be chopped down even more by Ashlar. And Ashlar are doing better gold-wise than he was a moment ago, but still only half the gold that the other two have, and about to have his expansion murdered. This is really best case for J33 now. Uh, Ashlar finally hitting Mattias to ensure that Matthias doesn't get more gold and able to take J33 out later, but also makes Ashlar lose one of his expansions. And here we go. This is going to be the big fight. This was, this was a bad teleport. Yep. We've got this Lich looking very low. Does have the potion. Goes ahead and pops that off. Uh, haven't seen a really particularly good Breath of Fire out yet, and... Doing a nice job nuking for Ashlar here. Uh, J33 is going to be forced to TP out, so I thought this was going to go much better for J33 than it did. Ashlar doesn't lose as much, gains level 6 on the Death Knight for what that's worth. Uh, and most importantly though, has 5 Dreadlord, 5 Lich. Should be able to go ahead and push J33. Biggest problem is he has not yet ex scouted the expansion at Life's Natural that J33 has put up. Yeah, definitely. Um, also, 
also again, even even now, it's a better decision in my opinion to just finish Matthias because Matthias is, is going again for him. And uh, I don't know, it, it, to me it seems like he, he just wastes a lot of time and just gives them, he's more like a reactive type of player right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Somebody else makes the action and he just reacts rather than initiate the action in some other way. And uh, in such a small map, it's always better to be the, the one that initiates the action. It just gives you this edge of, su uh, you know, of surprise when you catch somebody off guard. Just use it to your advantage. I tell you, smartly just going ahead and TPing out here. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we're too far away from Ashlar needing Mateus' help to beat J33, though, just because J33 is going to have so much gold soon. I think if Ashlar doesn't manage to finish Mateus soon, then Ashlar is going to need him to help team down J33. Yeah. Yeah, probably this is what is going to happen, although he doesn't seem to talk a lot. No, he certainly doesn't. Um, and he's one of those players that will kind of just suffer quietly as well. He did mention he was out of gold. Uh, both the other players said that, yeah, they were out of gold as well, but clearly they were just lying. And here we go. Does scout this expansion that J33 has up now. So that's definitely going to hurt J33 quite a bit. Uh, interesting to see if there will be a TP in. Doesn't look like there will be. So Ashlar are going to be able to get some free experience from the Wisps. And nice job there. <laughs> he's used to have 20, 000, so. I was going to say, if you're a night elf player in general, that's kind of true. He's not far from fin finishing off his expansion, though, and then he'll have no reason not to go up to 100. Uh, so he actually will be out of gold relatively soon. The problem will be his army is so much bigger. Actually, I'm still mining off of one mine that has quite a bit in it, has not yet taken out that other mine, which I'm kind of surprised about. And Matty is still doing a nice job scouting, actually. Um... His other decision making may not be quite as clear, predictable, or reliable, but he does do a good job scouting at least. But uh, he continues to pressure on the Ashlar. Uh, maybe he should yep. consider that after all, J33 did beat him in their solo, so he didn't lose that much. I was going to say, I mean, that's the tough part for new free for all players is to figure out when to switch from teaming one person to the other, especially if you are the weakest player in the match. Um, is that? Yeah, so we do have Ashlar actually the one to TP out there. Ashlar lost quite a bit of food in that fight. Well, that was surprising having just level 3 Lich and level 3 Dreadlord against level 5. Yeah, I was going to say, that must have just been a very bad fight for Ashlar, I think. I'm not sure how that went so in favor of Mattias, to be honest. I mean, he only lost two Gargs there. Yeah, and Ashlar is going to continue to fight here. Um, this could be bad news for Ashlar. He may be playing for 11 if he goes ahead and continues this fight. Nice job. Uh, good nuke on the Fiends. Does have to waste a scroll of healing, but J33 is up to 100, has been able to mine everything out there, and will just be walking his Tree of Life to the other expansion. And Mattias is going to go ahead and try and bring the fight back to Ashlar. Ashlar fighting down by quite a bit of food, but Mattias is going to be the one to force to TP out here. Exactly, and we are getting pretty close to that Dreadlord hitting level 6, which will be the next big game changer. Well, who knows? Uh, he has no items. And all in all, yeah, Inferno is very strong, but uh, it's a battle changer. I wouldn't say it's a game changer. It's not like Mass Teleport, for instance. Although Mass Teleport on, the, on this map would also not be that much of a significance, but... Maga, you're overthinking this. You get to throw a flaming rock out of the sky and have it fight for you. That is always a game changer, no matter how useless it may be. I, I think it's just a battle changer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're no fun. It's one of the, my favorite ultimates, that's for sure. But, uh, I mean, against uh, Chimeras and Epigrips, it does nothing, so... You know. 
Yep, clearly it needs to be buffed. It should be attacking air as well. I totally agree. You should uh, apply for a position in Blizzard and tell them to update this. You know, I've tried that already. They just didn't listen to me for some reason. Yeah, then in Warcraft 4, just make the, uh, the Inferno attack air as well. So J33 having his hippos auto-follow the lich, it looks like, and kind of losing a lot of health points on them. Not a good move. <laughs> I hope so, because... Right I was going to say, if he still doesn't know at this point that Hippogriffs can't attack ground, then A, how did he win that championship, and B, we're going to have to have words. Interesting, is Mattias going to look for Ashlar's expansions again, or... I feel like hopefully he'll realize. Yep. Uh, and he lost all that gold he had very quickly. He was at almost 3,000, but he stacked down to 500. Ashlar doesn't even have enough to expand. He's got enough to put it up, but as he's pointing out, he get, keeps having it taken down. Uh, J33 actually winning the gold battle and at 100, so that's quite a significant advantage at the moment. Um, be interesting to see how long Mattius is able to mine this in peace and if either of the players are going to realize at some point that he's just a distraction and annoyance and take him out. Yeah, also he hasn't used his uh, ice weapon, ice shard. Yep, and that's true. Ice shard actually gives him uh, vampire aura, so aura, so it's going to be very helpful against gargoyles. But he may be forgotten about it. You know, it, it happens often with uh, many players, me included. Well, I wonder if he's not saving it for later in the game as an item he can sell off easily. That's true. Although, if J33 gets into a hero arena, he's pretty much screwed to begin with. Nope, I think people are just saying that it's uh, kicked in and they can hear you better now. It's kind of hard to tell with that 15 minute delay when they're uh, talking about, but it's been about right, I think. All right. By the way, I just noticed that uh, Ashlar has a, has a role of intelligence in his death. Yeah, I find that kind of interesting as well. I'm curious if that's on purpose, or if he thought his death knight needed more mana. I was say, Lich would kind of be the natural one to do it, I think. Because also gives some damage. But uh, still, uh, this rogue will give like an additional uh, Nova or Carrion Swarm. It's going to be pretty effective, rather than just having two more coils. Yeah, we're also not terribly far from Dark Ranger hitting six, which... That would be interesting if J33 can mix in a few Frostworms into his army. Ashlar is finally manipping. Game changer, by the way. Sorry to interrupt. This could be a real game changer because uh, when the Night Hell has a Frostworm with the Keeper, it's like you cannot escape. No way. Well, sure. You say it's a game changer. I just think it's a Frostworm changer. So I think, I believe Ashlar has finally gotten Mattias to agree to hit J33. I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like, and J33 has sensed that this is going to happen and just going to go ahead and take Mattias out, which is probably a good idea. Yeah, he even says some, he even sneaks in some manipulation, like saying, our little suicide, like, so that um, he makes Ashlar think this is, he should not interfere. Yep. Like, uh, he uh, although Ashlar is not buying it, he is going to go hit J33's expansion. Yeah. Or he's not. Certainly makes us look like fools when we comment. It's like we just say like uh, he's going to hit and then. Oh well. I'm really confused as to why he's not hitting the expansion, if we're being honest. Yeah, well, he killed the Albatross right there. 
that was important. You know, as a poor innocent bird. And J33 not even pushing in the base either, just hitting the expansion. So, an odd period of nothing really going on. Ashlar has thrown up an expansion, so that's good news for him, but J33 is going to scout it out immediately. And there it is. Yep, J33 is going to go for Ashlar. Ashlar could get him in bad position here. Although, I think even without the heroes, J33 is going to take it. Yep. Uh, so J33 probably can go ahead and push on to Ashlar now, I think. He's in very good position. Yep, which kind of every undead's worst, worst nightmare. That's true. I can test it. Mateus is going to go ahead and hit J33, it looks like, uh, if he's smart at least. And really, I think that's both Ashlar and Mateus' only hope right now is to start tearing J33 apart the way they did Ashlar and weaken him that way. Unfortunately, it looks like Mateus may be going for the expansion, which is a terrible idea. Don't do that. Go back to the base. Yeah. And also he'll get intercepted. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, you know he's over on Ashlar's side, so you should be just going to the base and trying to make him TP while you get away. Oh no, he's really going to hit Ashlar. Poor Ashlar. Yep, does look... Nope. I have no idea what Matthias is doing. I have no idea what any of our players are doing, really. Uh, it does look like J33 is going to go ahead and hit Matthias. Whether or not that's good, who knows. But uh, Ashlar going ahead and hitting that expansion, which if J33 is smart, I think he should just let it go and try to take out Matthias. Yeah. I'd say this may be a little bit too late at this point. Uh, probably should have taken Matthias out earlier, but making the right decision here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Ashlar is going to go for J33's base, though. Or J33 may just go back to Ashlar and decide to hit him. Uh, we have... <laughs> and guard that fountain. We have uh, rather indecisive players here. Uh, just something of note, J33 is the only player that has a scroll of teleportation on his hero. So both Ashlar and Mateus are running around without scrolls, which could be rather problematic if J33 catches one of them in a bad situation. Yeah, uh, they've been trying to for a while, just not been successful at it. Well, now at least they stick together, which is uh, the correct way to do this. And Ashlar just killed off his shade, so he's back to 50 and mining now. Uh, nice move on his part. Unfortunately, he only has one Acolyte there. Right now. 
somehow I, I feel J33 can take them. I think he needs to kind of separate them and force one of them to get killed off earlier. Uh, if they fight 2v1 properly, then the two Liches and two Dreadlords should just do a ton of damage. But if J33 can just pick off one of them, like where Mateus is extending himself now and Ashlar is not, then I do agree. I think J33 has a very good shot at doing a ton of damage and probably ending the game right now. Yep, so. And Mateus has scouted Ashlar's Expo. Doesn't seem to matter to Mateus. I think he's going to go ahead and either attack him or make an unsummon. And it's also understandable because he never actually could scout how the um, one versus one would fail like. So, well, let's see. Still not killing him. He attacked half of it. And Ashlar are going to lose a lot more gold by trying to mine it out than he would have just unsummoned it. I'm really surprised J33 hasn't decided to take somebody out. Uh, I mean, Ashlar may go ahead and just suicide Matthias for that, but... Yeah, and he also saw that Matthias is, uh, is killing Ashlar's expansion, so this gave him a perfect window to just attack Matthias while they were away from each other. Yeah. Perfect opportunity, and he had no teleport. He could just walk in the base, kill the... There you go. Ashlar is going to go ahead and kill off some of Matthias' units, so I'm guessing this is just going to result in a suicide between the two of them. Yep, I would say Ashlar is playing for 11 at this point. If he leaves soon, then he can probably guarantee himself that he will get it. Actually, what he should do is just leave right now. <laughs> I would say, yeah. He should just summon every single building that he has, so it gives him a bit of a higher score in this week. And he actually is going to do that. He's making that. I was uh, curious if J33 knows that, uh... Yeah, that so he left. He realized he, he may be killed by, uh, by J33 quicker. Well, interesting game. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming that J33 is going to pull off the win here, which should not be particularly hard for him. Uh, crazier things have happened, but it is down 35 food, and extra 600 gold yeah, fully stacked heroes, higher level. and Mattis is just going to run his gargoyles into the army anyway uh, nice silence going off there and no TP on any of the heroes here so I'm guessing that the Lich is going to go nope Lich does pop a potion there but we're going to see the Dreadlord go down instead and this is going to be the Death Knight going down after that so I think Ashlar should have gotten himself 11 Yep, he got it. Just barely, so. Mateus leaving one he did was a huge help for Ashlar. Uh, so, let's go ahead. What were your takeaways and thoughts from the game? Well, um, the game had a lot of indecisiveness in it. Uh, it was pretty action packed, I must say. Uh, nobody had a, more than like, 
3K or 4K gold at any given time. Probably in the very beginning it was some of the ops. Um, but there were some uh, nice battles. However, uh, what I saw was that many, uh, mo uh, many, many of the players did not have planned how to proceed, what to do. They were wandering around 100 or 80, not just scouting properly as well. And it resulted in a bit of chaotic game. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, I think that J33 in the middle of the game kind of, I don't want to say fell apart, but he did not play it nearly as well as he should have. He probably should have taken Mateus out earlier, um, but then he did a nice job of doing what he does and hoarding up a little bit of gold, making sure that he'd be in a good position for late game, going 100 when he should, uh, not being at 100 when he shouldn't be. Um, Ashlar played it very nicely overall, but as we said several times throughout the course of the game, what he needed to do was to take out Matthias because he was getting 2v1'd and who knows when that would stop. So, unfortunately, that was kind of the downfall. Yeah, he had a, a window of opportunity to just finish Matthias, feed off his heroes, mm -hmm. go into a one versus one against J33 with uh, higher levels and more gold. That was his chance. Yep, exactly. Um, any advice for Matthias and what you think he could have done differently uh, besides once he got into the three-way? I mean, obviously it would have been good if he beat J33 in their solo, but it's hard when you get into that weak position of being in third place by quite a bit. So what would you have changed if you were in his shoes? Uh, first of all, stay under the radar. He immediately went to attack uh, Ashlar. Actually, he, he attacked him several times, resulting in losing town portals, some units here and there. And that was like, I, I, he, I think he lost like 3k doing this. Uh, he could like hoard around 7 or 8,000 uh, gold. This would give him the opportunity to have a perfect 100 food army and maybe steal the win in the end game. Uh, I think that was his chance. He just needed to make sure that J33 and Ashlar uh, kind of kill each other and they are down to like 50, 60 food or something. And then he sneaks in and finishes them off one by one. Yeah, I agree. Um, he did a nice job of getting under the radar for a little while, and then he started harassing Ashlar, which probably his biggest problem. Um, but no, I think it was a relatively nice game overall. Uh, dragged a little bit towards the middle and end when there was a lack of decisiveness, but I mean, it was under an hour overall, so certainly can't complain about that. Yeah, that's true. It was an enjoyable game. Yep. Um, so I think that's going to be all for us. Uh, this is Mage. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more great shoutcasts. You can watch us live at twitch.tv slash freeforallmastersleague, and you can get all the latest information and news on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash freeforallmasters. Until later, catch you later.